Eric Sundergaard with Armstrong here. I'm the Architectural Specialties Installation Manager. And today we're gonna to talk about Metalworks Tegular Panels. This is a two by two effects metal tegular panel that we're gonna be installing today. Uh, if you notice, it has a wood grain on it. So it does go in two different directions. Um, making sure that when you install it that you have all the grain going in the same direction. So keep that in mind for your cuts. There's minimal waste on this because most of the time you can use your cutoffs for another cut, as long as the grain is going in the same direction. Now this will install a 916 grid or it can install on 15 16 grid. Today will be our 916 super fine grid that we're using. At the perimeter, we're gonna use a C channel. So this is our 7835 C channel. It comes with a three quarter flange on one side and 916 flange on the other side. So if it's for 916 grid, you can always invert it this way. The really nice thing I like about this C channel is it comes with a spreader channel. So whenever you're doing a sheet metal or any metal type of a panel for your hold down, you can just use this it slides right inside to hold down your cut panel. And you would need one of these for every lineal foot of C channel. So for a couple different trim options we have for this product is since this is an effects wood grain finish that we have on it, we also offer a, an effects wood grain finish on our perimeter trim as well. So this is a six inch vector profile architectural specialties perimeter trim. So as you can tell, it is finished all the way throughout. So if you did want to use it for a vector ceiling tile, you can use it as well for that. Our application today will be inverting the trim so our, our panel will rest on the face of this so our grid will be held up a quarter of an inch. And in doing that, there's a really nice easy way of doing it with our FX TBC clips. These actually come with the trim and since we're using a quarter inch tegular tile, see that little score mark right there? Basically you just take your snips and cut that score mark right off and then you attach your super fine or 15 16 grid to it, prelude grid to it, and then attach it to the trim and your grid will be held up a quarter of an inch. So the face of your tile will rest on the flange of the perimeter trim. Now, if you wanted to curve this trim, you will not be able to do it with this trim at this time, but you can always use our Axiom trims. So our Axiom, axiom trim, you can curve or straight. If you wanted to get a different color in there, that's an option as well. And then with the AS trim or the Axiom trim to hold down your cut panels on the trim, you can use this hold down clip. This clip goes in here, it engages in the top boss and you just push it in there and let the bottom engage and that rests on the flange to hold your product tight to the flange as your hold down. So now we're gonna talk about a tegular edge cap. Uh, this comes in a quarter inch tegular to match the ceiling panels. Oh, by the way, our metal tegular panels also come in flush tegular and 5 8 tegular, but the edge cap is only for quarter tegular. This is basically for when you have to cut a panel within the field of the grid. So let's say you have linear lights and it's not a tech zone ceiling system, or you have a one foot by two foot diffuser in a two by two grid. So now you have to cut a, a one by two tile and put it in there next to it. How are you gonna create this tegular edge with this edge cap? So basically, after you cut your panel, you're gonna take this edge cap and just slide it over your cut. And this of course would be the same color as this. You can't get it in effects, but we can offer to you in black. If you have a solid color panel, this would of course match that. If it's a perforated panel, there is a border, a solid border around the panel where there is no perfs, and this edge cap would also continue that border on a cut perf panel as well. So I'm gonna take my measurement for my first border here, and I got my C-channel, so I'm gonna get my tape all the way on the inside of the C-channel. I'm gonna to measure to the flange of my super fine main, or super fine grid. So I'm gonna cut this panel at 11 and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure 11 and a half. And since I can get two out of one panel, measure 11 and a half. 
And then I'll do my Okay, and to cut the panel, basically I'm just putting it on over a two by four or a, a two by piece of lumber. And I'm using a Hilti metal cutting saw to actually do my cut. Putting some blue tape on the face will just help protect it. The effects finish is pretty durable, but it still kind of helps to protect it just to make sure you don't do any damage to the face of the panel when cutting it. You can also use metal shears um, or a band saw would work great. Um, there's a few different options for cutting these panels. When using the 7835C channel, uh, the Burke 2 clips, that, which I chose to use on this install for attaching my grid to the wall, um, basically will not work unless you cut the top of the C channel out. But if you cut the top, you can still overlap it, screw it to your, to your wall, the Burke clip. And then I'm using the Burke clip actually to hold my grid up a quarter of an inch, okay? So that's what I'm doing at my attachment points. And then if I have inter intermediate T's, I'm actually just flipping a tab on my super fine T here in order just to raise it up so that I don't need any clips or anything at that point. And the T will just rest up there, already gauge that quarter of an inch so it's sitting right up there. And when I put my panel in, the face of the panel. will rest flat on the flange. So then when I put my spreader channel in there, it'll hold it down nice and tight. Hey, so we're gonna talk about our hold down option for this. I'm gonna show you the benefit to using the C-channel versus a regular 7800 wall angle. A lot of times guys will just, well, let's just take another piece of wall angle on the back side, put it down there and go ahead and screw that and use that as a hold down. The time, the labor, it's, to me, it's not worth it. So if we can just replace that with this, a lot quicker. Okay, so now we're gonna engage the FXSPTHDC clip onto the Architectural Specialties effects trim. By taking up the top, this is a boss right here that the clip is engaged in. So the top part of the boss, I'm gonna engage the top part of this clip into. Once that's there, you just take your thumb, push up on it, engage it in for a hold down. And that's how you hold down your metal panels at the Architectural Specialties effects trim or any Axiom trim products. Okay, so one more thing to talk about is the infill options. You have a couple different options. Here's just a few of them. Uh, a bioacoustical infill, infill pad, or you can use a bagged fiberglass. Uh, of course, this system wouldn't help with just because it's a solid panel, but if you were using a perforated panel, it would come with a fleece on the back side of it, and then you can add either one of these for added acoustics. Thank you for your time today to watch this video. If you would like to learn more about these Armstrong Metalworks products, please visit armstrongceilings.com forward slash metalworks.